Representatives from Pfizer and Moderna were put under the microscope this week during a Senate inquiry into Australia's COVID-19 vaccine discrimination bill. I've repeatedly said there must be a Royal Commission into the abuse of power during the COVID period. As we have highlighted on this show, vaccine mandates are still causing problems for people across the country. As I mentioned, a lovely woman yesterday, I spoke to Christine, a medical professional who still can't work, 31 years of experience, isn't able to work because of the vaccine mandates, and her partner, a fireman, mm. still unable to work. These are the real, the heart and soul of Australia, and the vaccine mandates have been punishing them even though the pandemic has been declared over. Have a listen to this extraordinary answer from Pfizer when asked by One Nation's leader, Pauline Hanson, whether Australians were forced to choose between the jab or not having the jab. Have a listen. Dr Threw, you actually made a comment that no one was forced to have the vaccination. Who made the comment? Was it Dr Threw? I, I believe Dr. I made that comment. You made that comment? Right. Mm -hmm. You were in Australia during COVID-19. You must have been fully aware that people, nurses, doctors, people to have their jobs, to keep their jobs, were forced to have the vaccination. Now, do you retract your statement that they were not forced? Uh, Senator, no, I, I believe firmly that nobody was forced to have a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Mandates or vaccine requirements are determined <laughs> by governments and health authorities. I believe everybody was offered an opportunity to get a vaccine or not get a vaccine. I don't believe that anybody was forced to take a vaccine. A lot of Australians will disagree with you on that one. Great work. Pauline Hanson joins us now. Pauline, as you say, there will be many Australians, and I've certainly met many of them, who would be astonished and delighted to learn that they weren't forced to <laughs> get the vaccine or not get the vaccine. They lost their jobs. They lost their careers, their livelihoods. Many of them even lost their homes, Pauline. They certainly did, Rowan, and people to this day still cannot work. If you ask the Firefighters Alliance, 250 across New South Wales and Victoria, they're still not working. They're still fighting to be able to go back to work. The stupidity of the whole lot, even some of these companies up until just recently, were forcing people to have the vaccination. You know, nurses, we're about 7,000 nurses short in Queensland. They're going to allow about 1,000 back to work um, who haven't had the jab. That's my understanding. But we need, we've we lost experienced people, years and years of experience have now gone into retirement, that we desperately need them. And if we got rid of this sheer stupidity of forcing people to have this, you know, this jab against their will. And people have seen, especially nurses and the professionals, you know, paramedics and ambulance drivers, those people actually saw the adverse side effects that it was happening to these people. That's why they refused to have it. Surely we should be listening to them. But Albanese promised to have a Royal Commission into the COVID. He never has. I've been pushing for it since. I've managed to get this inquiry into my bill to stop companies from forcing people to have this um, purely to have their job.